Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, my channel and today we'll be talking about uh, stress and detonation and this is the continuation of our uh, previous lesson every language in the world uh, it has a stress and intonation uh, pattern many non-native speakers uh, say that it is difficult to understand American because uh, they tend to speak so fast one of the reasons is that uh, actually the patterns of stress and intonation is not understood or recognized Okay, now let's just discuss about the three syllable words which has three bits. I call this bit one, two, three, like that. So the word like accident, avenue, citizen, dangerous, company. The stress is on the first syllable. So when we put that on the second syllable, it doesn't sound natural. So if you say accident, it's not natural. One of the syllable is stress. That means that part is really important. So mostly we give stress on the vowel sound. We do not give stress on the consonant because consonant is voiceless. And usually we can say it with higher pitch or maybe longer. But there's also a word that have to be uh, stressed on the second syllable. The word like uh, suspicious, deposit, location, mechanic, and insured. So we put stress on the second syllable. We do not put stress on the first or the last syllable. So when we give uh, stress to a certain words, uh, certain syllable words, I mean, we know that those part is really important to convey meaning and expression. How about stress on the third syllable, the stress on the last syllable? The word like disappoint, entertain, and uh, introduce personnel unafraid or engineer we put that on the last syllable if you want to understand syllable uh, you can uh, imagine that the syllable is just like beat in the melody so you can count the beats it was like a teacher it has two bits right teacher two bits and the word like understand it has three syllable understand so it just counts like there is a beat so you will know which beat is stress well, that's the importance of learning stress and intonation. By learning stress and intonation, you will know the purpose of a sentence or the meaning of a words or words or group of words. The discussion about stress, uh, intonations, vowels, consonants cannot be separated. So they all come together when we speak. If you understand syllable well, then you can understand native speaker better. Hope this is going to be helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video. Bye for now.